Just call him the king of the world. More than 100 years after the sinking of the Titanic, one tycoon is planning on building a modern replica of that doomed ocean liner. NBC's Stephanie Gosk has more on that story. Stephanie, good morning. Good morning, Matt. Well, if someone said to you, we're building another Titanic, want to join us on the first trip, would you do it or would you maybe wait and see how that first trip went? A billionaire from Australia has already begun construction on the Titanic, too, and there are a lot of people clamoring to get on board. In the chronicles of human failures, there are few more infamous than the RMS Titanic. All ships, we learned, can sink, including the one they called unsinkable. But now, a century later, an Australian billionaire says it's time for the Titanic to sail again and revise its place in history. Will a hundred years later sail the exact same route and take up the torch and sail into New York and complete the journey? Clive Palmer is building the Titanic II, an almost exact replica of the first Titanic. He says it will be ready to set sail by 2016. The mining tycoon, who is funding the project entirely by himself, is something of a romantic. Well, Titanic uh, was a ship of dreams, and Titanic II is the ship where dreams will come true. It's not just a ship, it's an experience, you yeah? know? It's about Rose and Jack. Rose and Jack from the award-winning movie. Like director James Cameron, Palmer is sparing no expense to recreate the cruise liner. The grand staircase, restaurants, and smoking room will be identical. But there will be some notable differences on board the Titanic too. This ship will have enough lifeboats, along with modern technology to avoid the icebergs. There are already 40,000 applications for the first trip, including a dozen people willing to pay a million dollars for first class. Titanic survivor Molly Brown's great-granddaughter already has a place on board. She would be the first one in line for a ticket. Absolutely. She would love it. She never finished the voyage, and she always loved to finish what she started. That's really what Palmer himself is doing, finishing what was started. But unlike the, the original Titanic, this ship is being built in China, not in Belfast, Ireland. A sign of the time, says Palmer, and a chance to unite people from all the world, he says. This guy thinks big. All right, Stephanie Gosk. Stephanie, thank you very much. On Scientific Poll, how many of us would go on the first voyage of the new Titanic? Mm, I see a where in the world. Yeah, You're thanks. volunteering, Oh, so you want me right? to go, Jack. That's Matt nice. Volunteers. That's great. I don't want to do it, but you have a good if time. If you make it to England, send us a postcard. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how much smaller this is going to be compared to the That's other true. ships that are out there right now. It's basically the sign of a pontoon boat. Yeah. <laughs> a lot right. more life jackets and lifeboats on board this one.